All right, let's see. I've been instructed, but sometimes my retention is a little short. This is the Taoist Tai Chi. Is that right? Did I get close? All right. 50th anniversary day. So I'm going to get Greg Smith to explain what that is. So y'all come on down. And uh, we'll read this, and hopefully, are you the spokeslady? Virginia? Virginia Amos. All right. All right. 2020 is the 50th anniversary of the Taoist Tai Chi arts, which enrich mental, spiritual, and physical well-being. Well, they're going to explain while I'm talking. Pay attention. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Many people who practice this, uh, these arts share their experience of this practice, which enhance their social and spiritual connections, help relieve pain, reduce stress, and improve posture, circulation, and balance. We, where the city manager go? We need to set up a course down here. Uh, 50 years ago in 1970, Master Moi Lin Shin, a Taoist monk, began teaching the Taoist Tai Chi path in Toronto, Canada. Fung Loi Gok Institute of Taoism, together with its affiliates around the world, including the Taoist Tai Chi Society of the USA Corpus Christi, has trained volunteer instructors to offer classes of Taoist Tai Chi uh, arts continuously for 50 years. There are more than 40,000 participants in numerous locations throughout 26 uh, countries and over 100 participants in multiple class locations in Corpus Christi. It is altogether fitting and proper that the city of Corpus Christi, with its diverse population and appreciation for all cultures and its commitment to improving the wellness of its workforce and all residents, should set aside a day to recognize the Dallas Tai Chi Society of the United States. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim the month of February 18th, 2020, Dow Tai Chi 50th anniversary day in Corpus Christi and urge all citizens to take time today to enrich their mental, spiritual, and physical well-being. So I'll give this to you and get you to make a few comments. Uh, thank you. If you want us to do that, we can work on it too. <laughs> okay, uh, well, the whole point about the Taoist Tai Chi Society is to work on transforming not only the body, but also the mind. And a lot of us are in that position in our lives when we need some form of exercise to help our mental stability and also our physical stability. Thank you very much. It looks like everybody has a good time. They all got smiles on their faces, so that's good, and it's working. So thank you for what you're doing. Let's get a picture up here, and we'll... All right, Councilman Hernandez is going to help me. <laughs> Councilman Hernandez is going to help me with this one. If you're here for National Engineers Week, you're here for National Engineers Week, if you'll come on down. As a matter of full disclosure, I'm not an engineer. So, 
And I don't, I don't think we have any engineers on the council. <laughs> so. Oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> Our engineer actually made it. Okay. All right. National Engineer Week. Engineers Week. Whereas licensed professional professional engineers are dedicated to applying scientific knowledge, mathematics, and ingenuity to develop solutions for technical, societal, and commercial problems while holding paramount the public health, safety, and welfare. Licensed professionals, licensed professional engineers face the major technological challenges of our time, such as rebuilding towns devastated by natural disasters, designing spacecrafts and sophisticated satellites, contributing to the advancement of complex medical treatments, and creating a wide array of devices which improve the quality of life for millions of people throughout the world. Licensed professional engineers continue to encourage and work with our young math and science students to realize the practical power of their knowledge. And because more than ever, engineers will be called to aspire to the challenges of the new horizons. Now therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim February 16 through 22, 2020, National Engineers Week in Corpus Christi and urge all citizens to support the engineering profession and the professionals who use their talents to improve our way of life. And I'll present this to you, the spokesman for the organization. Sure. All right. So uh, founded in uh, 1951, NSPE is uh, dedicated to ensuring a diverse and well-educated future of engineering workforce by in increasing understanding and interest in engineering and technology careers. Dedicated to raising public awareness of engineers' positive contributions to quality of life, E-Week promotes recognition among parents, teachers, and students of the importance of technical education and a high level of math, science, and technology technology literacy. E-Week reaches thousands of schools, businesses, and community groups across the U.S. each year. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you're doing, and we appreciate your profession. Sometimes it drives us crazy to have to wait on getting plans and specs back, but we don't want to do it without them being right, and so we appreciate that very much, and we everything you do, so thank you. Let's say, get a picture over here. Thank you. How you doing? Good to see you. How you doing? Good to see you. How you doing? Okay. I was going to say, I guess we're going on different days. Let's plan it. Next, is, it's kind of an exciting thing, both for us here in the council and then uh, for our community. Uh, I'd like to um, have the Parks and Recreation Leisure and Seniors, uh, PALS, uh, they have a presentation to uh, present to the Parks and Recreation Department. So come on down. Well, thank you, Mayor, and uh, 
uh, members of the council. Uh, we are here today as a PALS Foundation. PALS stands for Parks, Arts, Leisure, and Seniors. And I have with me uh, Jody Hughes, who's also a member, and uh, Ronnie Woods, longtime member, and of course, Park Director uh, Jamel Stevenson, and uh, and, and his staff of, uh, who have been real helpful uh, in uh, in in keeping us on track. The Parks Foundation is a uh, nonprofit organization of the City of Corpus Christi, and their sole uh, purpose is to support uh, efforts of these three. Uh, 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 Parks, Arts, Leisure, and Seniors. Uh, this particular check today for $180,000 is uh, uh, seed money for the upcoming Texas Games. I believe there was there's an announcement, a press announcement on Thursday that'll provide further detail uh, of those events and uh, competitors from all over Texas will be visiting here uh, for several days and competing in uh, several activities at uh, athletic uh, events across uh, the city. So uh, it, this, this is revenue from a prior games uh, that has been held in the foundation. So we're issuing this check uh, to Jabril and his staff to be able to uh, conduct the activities and pay for, for things that are outside of the city budget. So that is the purpose of this check. That is the purpose of our organization. And that's what he will be doing uh, later on in, in the week, announcing with you uh, what the Texas Games is all about. So thank you for having us here today. Well, thank you. This is exciting. That, well, well, yeah, let's make this presentation. Make sure it transfers from your hands to Jamal's and then we're gonna talk to, <laughs> then we'll talk to him about money later. I mean, Y'all need a little exercise here. We're talking yeah. about the games of Texas. No, wait, we need to get a little exercise back here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you got your shirt. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Um. Let me, you got the date. We're going to get him to tell you a little bit about the Games of Texas and the impact it has on our community. It's substantial. Thank you, Mayor. Indeed it is. Uh, right around 10,000 people will, will be coming in attendance from all over the state, all over the region. Uh, we're estimating an economic impact right around 15 million. Of course, they need a place to stay. They need a place to eat. They need a place to recreate even after all of those things. We have about 14 or 15 different games happening from, uh, from boxing, track and field, golf, disc golf, you, you name it, it's happening. So uh, plans have been made for the last uh, year, year or so, and now we're getting down to the, um, to, to, to the wire here with about five months uh, to go. So we're starting to really ramp things up. We appreciate uh, so much the foundation uh, supporting us uh, in this because we wouldn't be able to uh, really pull it off without the without the seat money. So uh, we'll we'll talk even more later on this week uh, about it. But there is that press conference on uh, Thursday uh, at 10:30. Uh, the games are July 30th through August the second. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 